All right, everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to actually put all of our parts in to create our actual trammel toy assembly. And so right here, you'll see this is the trammel toy assembly I got going on right here, right? It's moving, everything like that. That's what you're going to have created uh, by the end of these videos. So in this video, what I'm going to be showing you all is how we're going to create our first assembly and then also how we're going to import some of the parts that we're going to be using for our assembly. So we should be in our trammel toy file. And so I already have this assembly in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click create assembly again. And the way you can rename this, I mean, you can rename it if you want, it just as assembly one. Um, I might rename this to be like final assembly. That's what you can put down, right? And so now the assembly tab is a whole lot different than the uh, part studio tab. So you'll see the part studio tab, there's all these different <clears throat> tools up here, right? Assembly tab, totally different tools. And no longer do we have it where we have, uh, where we can create a sketch. Instead, it's this button right here, which is called the insert button. And so now the insert button is going to do exactly just as what it says. It's going to insert parts into this for us. Now, these other tools are what are called mate connectors. And so there's different types of mate connectors you can use. They're fast and mate. If you hover over it long enough, you'll see that it says it removes all degrees of freedom between two entities. Basically, what that means is that it's going to allow no movement. Um, and so just as you can think in the title of it, it's fast and mate, right? Uh, going on revolute mate, that's also going to be something important that we're going to be using. This allows rotation about the Z axis. The first selection serves as the rotational point and the second as the stationary point. Uh, finally, there's a slider mate in here too. So the slider mate allows translation, which is just linear movement along the Z axis. The first selection serves as the sliding point, the second as the stationary point. So there are many other different ones. Probably another notable one that we're going to be using on this is the cylindrical mate. This basically allows rotation as well as vertical movement. If you look close enough here, you'll see that there's a little arrow on there. Um, so see how there's that arrow going up and then there's also that rotational movement. So that's basically what it's doing. Slider mate is just moving along, right? And then revolute mate is where it's revoluting. This is the fasten mate on there. So anyways, uh, without further ado, what I wanna go ahead and do is I wanna insert uh, these parts. So now on here, these are all the different parts that we're gonna be needing. Uh, you can read this. If you need any of these other parts, you can click on these to make copies of them. Please make sure that you are signed in in the top right corner so it should not be telling you sign in in the top right corner over here whenever you go to make a copy of these otherwise you won't be able to make a copy of those those are just if you need them if you don't have any of those parts uh, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through here and this is kind of like our shopping list for i through n and basically we want to get these different parts so now what it's telling us is in our assembly we're going to click insert and then select other documents so if i go in here so we click insert right then click other documents up here then what i want to do is press the home button and then what I want to do is I want to search in the public and I'm going to search here. I'm going to perform a search. This is like the part number. So, you know, whenever you're at the store, maybe you'll search for something with a part number or an employee might ask you for the part number. That's basically what this is. So now any of these will work. I'm going to go with any of these these two right here. I'm going to click on these and then now you'll see that it brings this up and I can click on the part. So now that will bring in one of those. If I look at this, see I need six. So all we got to do is just click this six times. So two, three, four, five, six. And then now as you can see there, it brings in six of these. So I'm just going to put these over to the side here. I'm going to leave the origin point for my trammel toy base so i can put that in there um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to be moving on so then now we're going to go to the hex nuts see how we need five of these basically same process here take this Control c to copy it click insert click other documents click public then search this Control v to paste and so now we've got all these other different options i like this one the most because it is silver i don't like this one because it's gold so I'm going to go ahead and bring this in and we're going to see that it should be this one right here. We got the 0.25 to 20. So remember 20 is the pitch. So 0.25, 20, uh, 90480, 90480. So we see that that's not it. Let's see if there's another one in here. 90480A195. I think that was it. No, 904. A009. So we almost want the A009 at the end. Let's see if this is going to show up in here or not. If not, it probably is just that one that we had. Um, yeah, 
I think that it was the one that's up here. So ideally we would have this where the parts are matching. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to end up putting this in. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, two, three, four, five of these in. And then what I'm also going to actually do is so that whenever we test this out, I'm going to also bring in five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Because these almost seem more like the size that we're going to need. But we're just going to keep those in there too. Because I'm going to delete whichever one we don't end up using. Um, so it's five of those. We got that. Now the five millimeter dowels. So then now we're just going to go ahead and press control C here. We're going to go ahead and go into insert. Click other documents. Click public. Then we're going to press control V search. Now these dowel pins. These are going to be. Let's see here. I believe, yes, right here, 915-95A364. Be very careful with this because sometimes these don't show up. This should actually be the first one because we're searching this. Um, now what we're doing is we are needing two of these. So we need two of these puppies. We're going to go ahead and click on the correct one. One, one, two. Now you're going to see two are coming in. We're going to place them right there. Next part, we're going to need a 6 millimeter dowel, so this is the diameter of it. It's basically a 6 millimeter dowel pin. Um, so dowel pins basically connect two different parts of an object. Um, so now we're going to click on that. Uh, we want A458, and right here we've got it. So we want, how many of these did we want? Two? Yep, we want two of these. So one, two, bam, right here. One thing that I do want to look up, um, just use another socket head screw. So we are going to end up needing another socket head screw for this wooden dowel. So the socket head screw is going to be right up here. We're just going to come into here. And what I can actually do is I can click on one of these. So we got this part right here. And I think if I right click this, I think we can duplicate this. Uh, let's see. Here. If I actually just press control C and then control V, yeah, it'll paste another one in there. So just using control C and control V, we can copy that. Uh, but so now the wooden dowel is good and the VEX IQ connector pin, this is what it actually looks like. Um, so we're gonna search connector pin. And then this says at the time that I wrote this worksheet, it said that this was the sixth option. Let's see if that's still true or not. Or if times have changed. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it looks like all these crazy pin connectors took over. So what we might have to actually do two so we got to keep going. We might have to actually search VEX connector pin. Yeah, because some little rascal ended up making all these connector pins public. So we probably want to do, I don't know, I mean, I can keep scrolling down. Oop, I think I just saw it. Let's see here. If you want, you can scrub past this part. This is probably the part where you could put your video on times two speed while we search for this guy. But, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Him not seeing it. There's just tons of these connector pins that we do not want. Um, now I'm, like, too far invested. I'm, like, I can't search Vex yet. I gotta go all the way down because I'm almost all the way down. So it looks like this thing is pretty crazy. Honestly, I would not even do this. I wouldn't even scroll down here. Let's try searching VEX. Let's see if that shows up. So we're going to type in VEX connector pen. Look at that. One by one. So we're going to want to switch, or we want to go down three of them. And I'm going to switch this out so that I say uh, search VEX connector pen real quick so that you all know that. VEX connector pen. Um, Select the sixth object, the sixth option. Uh, that should have been the, let's see here real quick. Connector pin, that should be the third option. Third option. Select the third option, perfect, there we go. Uh, insert into your assembly, so that's what we need right there. And we actually need two of those, so good thing that I did search this. And actually we need this one, so we need two of these. So I actually made a mistake on the other one because I didn't notice. Uh, this, oh no, we got to search it again. So one, two, um, keep note of that everybody. If you don't press the green check mark, it will delete your other ones. So um, you can click restore and then that will bring it back up. But anyways, now that we've got all the different parts in our Tramble toy assembly, uh, basically what we want to do is watch this video um, 
to insert all the parts. So this was just getting all of the parts into our assembly that we're going to be needing. Uh, remember these parts as well. So let me go through that. If you need these other parts, um, you can click insert. And then basically what we're going to do is go to the current document because that's where your uh, guide block should be at. So then now from here, this is where I can bring in all the different upper left, lower left, um, all the pin sliders, screw sliders, we can bring in all these, the base plates as well. Base plate I'm gonna put right here. Um, and so basically uh, we have all of our parts in here now and what I'm going to do is in the next video, I'm gonna actually show you how do we start to begin this process. All right, so I'll see you all there, peace.